If you're ladies and gentlemen, Jim the Anvil Neidhart on his way to the squared circle. Oh my goodness, this man is definitely not all there. Look at those eyes, would you? <laughs> I will admit that uh, Charles Manson refers to him as that wacko, but I kind of like him. You know you would. He's your kind of guy. Wait a minute. There's my kind of guy right there. That's the hitman, Bret Hart, ladies and gentlemen, recovering in and will indeed, as was announced earlier on, return to action in the squared circle the uh, first week in January. Well, I think it's appropriate that his picture's on a plate because now I think he's going to be a little fragile. He might just get broken up. Oh, no, definitely not. Oh, no. Wanting a no hose barred matchup with his brother Owen selling this thing once and for all? I don't think so. Look at this. Jason Harvey in the clutches of Jim the Anvil. No, no, no. Wait a minute. He's got hey, did you see that? The Anvil oh. just threw Harvey outside of the ring. No, he didn't. He just he slipped out of his hand. He was just going to drop him across the rope, and he slipped. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Jim the Anvil. Let's take a look. See, he look at him. Him. He is attempting to uh, set a standard, if you would, a rather low one once again for his brother-in-law, the King of Hearts, Owen. Over the hip, look at that maneuver. Owen, of course, resting to Jim the Anvil Neidhart. I, I believe that so much of Owen's philosophy, if you would, is, is a result of Jim the Anvil's influence. Don't blame it all on the Anvil. I slipped a few things in there myself. <laughs> you know, I bet you did. What? Come on, Anvil. Hey, you know, speaking of Stu, he was looking pretty feisty there at the old uh, Survivor Series. You know, next spring, when if, if there is baseball, I yeah. think he might get to go to spring training. Oh, I get it. You got Stu as the catcher and Helen as the pitcher, right? And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Harvey is trying to hang on. But uh, unfortunately, Harvey did not mount an offense at all against the big anvil. Look at the sweat profusely pouring off the face of the anvil. After this matchup, I think it's only appropriate that we go back. 